So if you want to use any of your services and products by your Azure, very first you need to do is to create an account on your Azure. So here we are going to see how we can sign up on your Azure. So very first we should have something on to your end so that you can create an account. So the prerequisites are you should have an internet connection on your system. As we know, everything is on cloud. So for connecting your cloud, first you should have an internet connection so that you are accessible to your Azure. Next is updated browser. So you can use any Chrome browser or any Firefox if you are using. Ensure that it's updated so that you are able to access it properly. Next, a Microsoft account. So as you're going to sign up, it will ask you for an existing Microsoft account. If you have an existing Microsoft account, you can use it or you can sign up for a Microsoft account. Then you can start with your Azure account creation. And the last and the important part is your active credit card. So as we know, if you are going to sign up, you can also create a free account where you won't be charged for any of the services you are using. But that is for trial, right? So since you are going to use the trial account, you should not go and exit to your paid services. The Microsoft has also provided a particular, you know, a criteria where you need to provide the credit card details so that if you are using some paid services or you are extending the limit of the trial, you can subscribe to some of the services for that the number of resources you are using automatically that will be deducted from your account. So it also asks you for your credit card details. If you don't provide the credit card detail, you won't be able to successfully sign up for your Azure. So it is must. So only if you are using the practicing so none, nothing will be deducted from your account. So don't worry about it. Just provide your credit card details and sign up for free. So for signing up, you need to browse on HTTPS azure.microsoft.com. Once you move over here, you will have a particular button of creating a free account. Just click on that and you can see to create a new account. It will open up a new wizard. So here we are going to look at practically how we can create or how we can sign up into your Azure into our portal. So for creating your Azure account, first we need to move into the browser and search for your Azure website. Either if you have a proper name and if you know the link, you can directly connect to your azure.microsoft.com or you can search for your Azure on your Google. It will show you the number of websites where generally you have that Azure. Right now, I'm going to connect and link to my azure.microsoft.com. So just click on this link. It will take you to the home page of your Azure. So this is your Azure home page. You can find this is the Microsoft products. So Microsoft Azure. Then why we are using this Azure. So Microsoft is showing its benefit and a specialty. Also, it is differentiating itself with your AWS cloud platform. So you get all the benefits, everything is listed over here. Same way it provides you the solutions. So it will navigate to you the solutions. What a solution this particular Microsoft provide to you into different particular fields and environments. Same way we have products. Into products and services, whatever we have discussed or we are going to discuss in brief over here. So this particular products and services which we are going to use into this particular course, everything is listed over here. So these are the services we do have into your Microsoft Azure. Same way we also have the documentation. Now if you are going to move ahead with some practicals and you are stuck in between or you want some guidance, you can follow this particular documentation. It provides you the documentation for your developers, same way architect guide and your free training videos. Here again, you can move into your architect guides. It will show you a different architecture you have, different design principle, compute option overview, and everything you need to know. Same way, we also have a pricing tab. Into pricing tab, it will list you the different costing of all the resources you have connected. So you can see it is showing you the app service pricing cost per hour, same with virtual machine pricing cost per hour, database per hour, right? So this is the pricing, what exactly will be charged if you are using or subscribing to this particular services which we have. Same way we have a training. So here you can get the videos. 
which is a free online course video from your Microsoft Azure. Same way, we also move into your marketplace where we can find the applications which is distributed among different organizations as well as different users we have created. Same way, you have partners. It will show you the Microsoft partners, how you can become your partner of your Microsoft Azure as well as Azure for your SaaS companies. Same way, we have a blog. If like you have any kind of doubt and if you want to ask any questions from your Microsoft or you find any bugs so you can report or you can you know directly message over here or you can also connect to the existing blog and existing things or existing post we have over here same way we can move into resources into resources it is showing you different resources you have as your updates you have some downloads code samples events templates and your roadmap for you and the last and least that is your support so you can directly connect to your microsoft azure if you have any kind of problem and you, if you want to go for a paid support from your microsoft azure it starts from 200 credit that is your 200 rupees that is indian dollars credit we generally have Right, so you can also compare the so support plans, you can also support the community, you should have a knowledge center from here, you can get a common answers from your support center. You also have a trust centers, you can again use the confidence generally we have on your trusted cloud that is your Azure, we have the solutions for your productivity, we have the solutions for your hybrid cloud, we also have solutions for your intelligent that is your machine uh, intelligence we generally have right so all this particular thing we have over here into this home portal but right now we are going to use all the services but for that we are going to create the account so here i'm going to start with my start free by clicking on start free button once you click on start free button now the term it is asking you very first thing do you have your microsoft account so in your video already we have discussed like you should have a Microsoft account. If you don't have any Microsoft account, you can click on use under account and click on create one. If you have your existing account, what you can do, you can directly sign up over here. I have my existing one. So I'll be just signing up over here with my existing account. So this is my demo account. I have a Gmail account with name ttp demo 2017 at gmail.com and the same name I have also created my Microsoft account so you can also do the same if you don't have a gmail account create a gmail account then create your Microsoft account if you have some existing gmail account directly you can create your Microsoft account and then you can sign in so I have my Microsoft account created so I'm going to sign in directly click next now it's asking you for your password. So here I'm going to define the password for your TTP demo 2017 and click on sign in. Once you click on sign in, this Azure is getting linked with your Microsoft account which you have created. Now it's going to ask you different questions. Unless you fill the complete questions, whatever it is asking you, you won't be able to move ahead and use the services. So what are the questions it asks you? So this is a four step process. Very first, it will ask you about yourself. Then the verification by your phone. Then the verification by your card and then agreement. You need to fulfill all the particular questions and all the requirements over here. So what does it ask you? Into about you, it will ask you for your country. You need to define your country name. For example, here I have defined India, the first name of yours, your last name. For example, I'm just going to define a sample or example I'm going to take as John as my first name. And I'm going to define the last name as this also. Okay, and then the email address that is again very important for your notification. So I can define the same email address over here okay next your work phone number so you need to define your work phone number over here okay then your organization name 
which are the organization you're working for and then your pan id which is again important so i'm going to define the pan id here okay you can go for next so once you click on next it will take you to the second step that is your verifying your phone number so you need to define your phone number over here whatever the phone number you generally have okay so i'm just going to define anything and then the very for verification you need to click or send text message or call me in spite you are calling you uh, once it is getting verified or you no know, verified unless you are not able to move over here so i need to define the number from which generally i'm going to get access to the call and once i receive the call i'll be able to get that okay it is verified then we can move to the next step till then we won't be able to move to the next step here so it is showing you see please enter the valid credit card information so that we can verify correct so but we are not able to move here first i need to verify the number i'll click on call me once it is calling you you will be getting a verification code which you need to define over here once your phone verification is done once i entered the code i'm able to move here where it is asking you for your verification of the card so here you need to fill your complete credit card details once you fill your complete credit card details it will ask you for agreeing the agreement just you need to click a check over here i agree and then you can sign up so let us see what the credit card details you need to fill up so here you can see it is asking you for credit card so a new credit card you are going to use for over here or you have some existing credit card which you have already used so it will show you that particular credit card option so as we are going to reuse our azure account for the first time so uh, obviously i'll be using the new credit card as i don't have any entry of this credit card over here then you need to define the credit card number so you need to define the number which is written on your credit card so where you need to provide the credit card number written on your credit card so here you can see this is the number so this kind of number you will be having on your credit card so that you need to define over here over here same way the expiration date right so you might be getting some expiration date that is 030020 as an example i can use over here so same way you can define the expiration date here that is 03020 so this is a month and this is your year okay along with that is asking you for cvv code so cvv code generally you get at the back side of your credit card and the back side of your credit card you can see here it is your 418 written over here as an example you can use 418 right so this is how you need to define the credit card details along with card details you need to define the name what you exactly you have on your card so here you will be having the holder name that is a card holder name it can be your name uh, like you have your name then your middle name and your last name or your name and your last name as per the card registration while you have done you have defined the name so that name you will be finding on your credit card so you need to define your name as it is you find on your credit card once you have done with this process what you need to do is you need to move into your address line and you need to define your complete address into three different lines address line one two and three once you have done with that enter your city your district your state and the postal code once you have done with all this click on next it will take you to the agreement once you have done over here click on i agree you will be able to click on i agree only once you have filled completely this particular section that is your credit card section click on sign up you will be moving into your azure so let us see into our next video how we can use our services and how we can move into your azure account so here for demo reason i'm just going to sign up with my existing account and i'm going to show you how generally it looks once you sign up so for signing up with my existing account i'll be clicking on my account and then i'll just move into our free account 
and directly I can move from here that already we have created or we can directly move into the portal. So for signing up with my account you need to click on portal here. Once you move into the portal it will be navigated to portal.azure.com right so it will ask you for your user login so right now I've already logged in so I'm just going to show you how generally it asks you so here you can see it is showing you you need to sign in using your Microsoft account right so once you move into your portal.azure.com this is the account which from which I'm going to sign in over here I'm going to define the password for my account and I'll click sign in once you click sign in it will direct you to the portal of your Azure so this is your Azure portal so this portal we are going to use to complete or all the practicals what we are going to see and you can see I got the credit limit of 13,300 over here as a free trial account so let us see how we are going to use it into our coming videos from where I'm going to start with your networkings.